She texting on the side or her phone upside down. I'm looking like, that's stuff that I do. My name is Tyler Prince. I'm Jarrell. My name is Quan, but I go by Chef Beans. We're giving you the hot boy summer rules to live by so you don't end up getting played this summer. The difference between a hot boy and a player is someone that's not really going out with that intention to actually play a chick. You wanna be able to enjoy yourself with your boys and if that leads to getting with some ladies, so be it. In terms of a player, it kinda has the connotation that you have someone already and you're still doing the type of things that you wanna do with other women. Hot boy likes to be outside, likes to be in the mix and yes, he can probably stay in the rain but his question is, does he want to? Hot Boy Summer is definitely meant for hookups, but it can lead to love. If you're lucky, you might find someone to date. You're trying to get as many numbers as possible because it's a numbers game. You can't find love in there. I know some people who stumbled into some relationship trying to be a hot boy. The perfect hot girl for a hot boy, she gotta be sexy, she gotta be loyal, and she gotta be good in bed. What a hot girl is looking for in a guy is somebody who can take care of them financially. Not saying women don't have their own bread or they don't have their own waste of income, but they do want a man to be masculine and take care of them so that they can operate in their feminine. Let me tell you about the time where I felt high boy summer. Me and my guys, we went out to the club. I went to introduce myself to this beautiful woman and we ended up exchanging information. She saw that I was a photographer and she was more interested in that than me. And it was just a fail because we didn't shoot and I shot my shot and still didn't make it happen. I failed at Hot Boy Summer in the past because it was this chick that I met on a dating app. We went to this comedy show, everything was cool, but things started to fade away a little bit until she hit me with that late night text, that you up text. I tried to match that energy, but I ain't gonna lie, I ended up falling asleep. So when I woke up in the morning, I tried to circle back, but she's like, nah, you can't be out here breadcrumbing girls when they deserve the whole loaf. And I just didn't know how to respond. Next thing you know, that ghost just vanished. A hot boy gets a girl's attention a couple of different ways, you know, whether it be in person, you know, just passing by, or you can do it off of Instagram. Of course, you gotta like at least five of her pictures. And it can't be the most recent pics. Like, you have to actually go down and find the ones that are dope. I mean, my energy gets hot girls' attention. I don't gotta say much. I just walk into rooms and just, my light attracts all the hot girls in there. The last time I slid into the DMs was this morning. <laughs> so the way to effectively slide into her DMs is by sharing one of her photos that you saw on her page and commenting on it privately as opposed to in the public. So if it's a photo of her, I have to say something like, that's a goddess if I ever saw one. So I saw a bad chick with some sneakers on, gotta throw the fire emoji at it, be like, oh, not only is she good looking, but she got the kicks to match. I've sent some emojis before, or I'll just be very direct and like, yo, you trying to go out? <laughs> I'd probably rate my DM skills like Dame Lillard to close out a game. We might miss one or two, but a lot of times it's gonna be buckets. Sometimes, you know, I like to shoot outside my range. They have way more followers than I do. And in most cases, those type of women, they don't like to respond back. I'm not gonna say I'm batting 100. I might post a couple different things or even slide in the like it spree because I know that's gonna bring the attention to my page. You're just gonna fall down the rabbit hole. I'm like, yo, this dude kind of cool. Seeing a girl in real life that didn't respond to your DM, that's usually the best because you really can so like, oh, okay, like you didn't want to respond to me on the gram, but now you see me in person, you want to be all friendly. Nah, not today. <laughs> you know, I'm probably going to keep it pushing. I don't want to embarrass myself twice. It's bad enough that, you know, she didn't respond. That's cool. That messed with my pride just a little bit. I have very high self-esteem. So just because you didn't respond to my DM, that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with me. Maybe you just not interested. I'm going to tell you now, we're not going to eat at no high price like restaurant for the first day because I'm gonna have to keep that up. At the end of the day, the goal is to get them to come back to the crib. So I just invite them over and cook for them. 
Man, I would take a hot girl on a date to Barnes and Nobles. That's how I operate. Definitely had a girl play me for a free meal a couple times. Sometimes a lot of these girls don't be probably having the good jobs and they be hungry. I think it's ass for these girls to try to play us. Of course, as a gentleman, we're going to pay. And then you never hear from them again. Like, yo, like, what was my end of it? I'm not saying it had to be sex or anything, but like, there should be some type of follow up, right? I've contributed a lot of free meals to people before, but at the end of the day, it's, it is what it is. Wax on, wax off. It happens to the best of us. Best advice I ever heard is don't date a hot girl if you can't handle a hot girl. Don't be stupid. Don't be dropping bags on bags for these hot girls. As things progress, then maybe we can move to those things. But right off the bat, no. The most I've spent on a girl doing hot boy summer is probably about 60 bucks, you know? 100, 150. You can spend up to 50 to 100. I don't know what these dudes are doing out here when they be dropping racks like the first time they meet somebody, not me. <laughs> Lucky we even go to McDonald's. <laughs> I'm not really splurging on no girl that's just in rotation. Hot boy summer rule. Never spend over 100 bucks on her before the second date. So the rule to not getting played financially by a hot girl is it's going to happen regardless. Sucks, but it's going to happen. There's going to be one that will eventually Play. There's no such thing as a perfect record. Even Jordan had his losses. <laughs> the way you keep other girls interested while you're focusing on one is, you know, you just kind of keep them in the text rotation. No one wants to be the one to get played, so at the end of the day, you gotta have your options. Now, if they reach out to me, then of course I'll respond and I'll keep that up. But in terms of me reaching out, probably won't get that much out of me. If one of them is a dancer and the other one plays basketball, maybe send a couple dancing videos via DM and go play hoops with the other one. How do you avoid accidentally falling in love? I don't know. I wish I knew, but it does happen. Accidentally falling in love, that hurts. Especially when the other one is not feeling the same way you are. So now you just all out there with your feelings, just out. Very unfortunate. Being a hot boy sometimes, you can accidentally fall in love because you just focused on having fun. Next thing you know, this person starts asking deeper questions like, what are you actually interested in? Or buying you certain gifts based off of the things that you're interested in. And then something inside of you kind of directs your energy towards them. And you're like, hmm. Almost blowing your hot boy cover is extremely easy. Don't drink and text. Don't leave your phone open. DM slides can be risky. Commenting on the Instagram can be risky. I've actually been ghosted like three good times that I can recall of. One of them in particular, I think it was because I played it too cool and I was just like too nice. So it's okay. It did hurt me a little bit. I'm a little more rough now. Going to the gym, I see this one girl had my eye on her for quite a while and I peep she's looking at me. So decide to go up and talk to her, you know, vibes are going well, everything's going great. She gives me her number, gives me the Instagram. So we start talking, we make plans to go get lunch. Weekend comes around, I shoot her a text. Hey, so, you know, we still gonna get lunch. Girl freaks out. She goes into that she got schoolwork, she's not ready for this, all the way down to that I'm too religious. I didn't think I was gonna bring my Bible to lunch. Definitely a road bump in hot boy summer, but we bounced back. There was a time when I fell for a hot girl and I didn't know that I was the side dude or a dude in her rotation. It's kind of my fault because I should have noticed that every time her phone rang, she had to step in the hallway, go have that conversation. Or every time she texts, she texting on the side or her phone upside down, I'm looking like, that's stuff that I do. Be warned, if you're falling in love with a hot girl, chances are she has options too, and she's not looking to fall in love with you. When you're using the dating apps and you swipe right and you don't match, a lot of girls put their Instagram there for a reason. Like a couple pictures, see if you get a like back. I always think if you get a like back, there's some interest there, and then you kind of see where it goes. Before I even swipe, I'm probably going to screenshot her bio because if she has her Instagram name in there, I'm going to go to that grim. I'm going to be in front of you in some capacity. Clearly, it just wasn't a match. I'm not even going to try anymore. Unless she's like really bad. She's really bad. I'm going to get my friend's phone, put it in the same location, try to find her again. <laughs> the core three rules to hot boy summer. 
Don't spend more than $200, $250 on a date. Rule number two, stay away from vulnerable conversations if you're not trying to end up in a relationship. And lastly, have confidence. Cannot go up for the score without the confidence. And that's the rules to live by this hot boy summer.